Wait, I have an opportunity for you to make some gold. I seek a worthy escort. I can offer a small pay to any able-bodied venturer who can assist me. It is imperative that I reach my destination. Sure. Wait, alright. Are you gonna tell me your destination? Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, you can actually go in and customize this. This is what I need to do. Boom. Healing and mage powers. Sure. All right, so I think the secret is to make a custom character so that we can max out the skills that we need. All right, let's start at Minoc. The Miner's Frontier. The city of Minoc has boomed in recent blah, 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 blah. Sure. Man... Wish I could figure out this bank thing. I'm totally missing stuff. I need to also find a way to buy a sword. We're going to do this one right. Buy the book. Not the spell book, but the book. New World Order. No. Tinkerer. The real estate peasant. Brad the mage. I seek high adventure. I also seek a place to buy armor. Is there anywhere that sells armor around here, guys? The golden pickaxe. Sounds like a bar of some kind. Yoink. Why, why can't I take it? We are going to find a sword and armor, and we're going on a quest, goddammit. This is not happening again. We're not spending the whole video roaming around the forest. Old miner supplies. Oh yeah, I'm in a mining town. They're just going to be selling a bunch of mining stuff. Logan the Merchant is over here. No, I don't want to escort you to you. I want you to sell me stuff. Freaking escort missions. Shannon the Butcher, Mace the Butcher, Riot Scott, Barnabas the Barkeeper. Oh, the Butcher. All these Butchers. Give me your cleaver! I need something! I can't just go out into the world with no weapons. Nothing. This is just somebody's house I've wandered into. Oh my god, what does it take to get a weapon in this game? Okay, blacksmith. Oh my god. I don't even know what server I was on. I can't find my characters. How do you, how do you find out what server you were playing on? I lost my character. Alright, we're trying this one more time. Let's go ahead and do this. Back to Minoc. God, it takes so long to get anywhere in this game. Okay, blacksmith. This is around where we lost our connection last time. On whatever, I don't even know what server I was on. Characters lost to the ages. Now, how do you actually communicate? Do I have like a bartering skill or something? Like, how do you actually talk to people? I cannot figure out how to buy things from these guys. I've tried left clicking, I've tried double left clicking. I am lit. I have a tutorial, I don't know if you can hear in the background, playing, showing me a guy, buying stuff from people in town. All he seems to be doing is left clicking. What is going on in this game? Why can't I figure anything out? Oh, f screw you and your goddamn escort. I want to find a dungeon. Why is it so freaking cryptic? Oh, now we're. Now we seem to be running through some kind of like gypsy camp. Not sure if that's racist or not. Uh, it's kind of racist. I had high hopes that I might be able to figure this one out, guys, but uh, buckle your seatbelts because it's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are following up on our Let's Play of Ultima Online. And if you go back and watch the first video, you will know that uh, I make no claims of being an Ultima Online uh, professional. In fact, I'm a rank amateur. In fact, I'm worse than a rank amateur. I'm completely terrible at Ultima Online. Ooh, look at this. The container is secure. Wait, how do I know it's in the container without being able to open it? Can, we, can I take some of this stuff? Can I, can I take some of this stuff? You, you are not allowed to access this. Why not? An, an unseen force prevents me from stealing. Take all 19. Oh, come on. 
Uh, I, my guy's moral code is a real, uh, real detriment to my survival in the world of Ultima Online. So in my first part of my Let's Play here, uh, we decided to play Ultima Online because today is a two, or yesterday actually, it was the 20th anniversary of this game. Yes, Ultima Online is an MMORPG that has been around for 20 freaking years, which is absolutely insane. Um, it's, you know, World of Warcraft is the biggest MMO that there ever has been, so Ultima Online did not reach World of Warcraft's size, but, uh, it was one of the first, and without Ultima Online, you would not have had games like, uh, World of Warcraft. Ooh, we found a cool little cave we're gonna go exploring here. So, respect where respect is due, you know, this, this game was, uh, behemoth of the time. Um, now, the, the sucky thing about my experience that I have so far is, like, for most games, I go in totally blind, and I just kind of figure them out as they go. Um, but for some games, I recognize that they're going to be a little more complicated than all that, so I'll look up like a tutorial or a walkthrough, and uh, I'll use that to basically help myself play the game. With Ultima Online, I knew that uh, I was going to have to look something up, because I would not know um, all the buttons and stuff to play this game. But, lo, I did not expect... Is this a... Cave or, oh yeah, sweet. We're in a cave. It's a goat. A goat and a cow have made a home inside this cave. Interesting. Um, but lo and behold, I did not expect this game to be so freaking difficult. I don't know if it's me, like if I'm completely incompetent or something. But for the life of me, I I, I can't even like I, like I can't even find a merchant to buy a sword. Like no joke. I've been playing this game for an hour before I decided to sort of officially start this. Uh, let's play again, and I've had all kinds of troubles from like, uh, you know, being disconnected from servers and not being able to find my character again, to like, not even being able to start my character with a weapon, to like, not finding anyone who I could barter with to buy a weapon, to like, I'm looking up where dungeons are and stuff online so I can like, find a dungeon, and they don't exist in the world, I don't know what the hell is going on. I figured at some point I just gotta bite the bullet and, uh, keep making this video, or we're never actually going to, I think this might be a dungeon, or we're never... Ooh, monsters are down here. Cool. Well, we actually found sort of uh, some kind of dungeony hazardous area. Fire is spewing out of the ground. I'll take it. It's very dim. I'm sure I should have a lantern or something, but we're just going to wing it in here. I don't expect myself to do very good in this game. So, like, if you are looking for uh, a really good Let's Play of Ultima Online, you have found the wrong spot. Um, if anything, this video is going to be best described as a let's talk over. So, in the background, I'm going to be doing stuff in Ultima Online here, but, like, honestly, I'm literally just going to be wandering around because, I mean, I've tried, guys, I've tried for the life of me, I cannot figure this game out. And I, I mentioned in the first video how one thing that's always been a huge turnoff for me with, um, with MMOs and really detailed RPGs like this is they often have a very... A steep learning curve, but I have never encountered a game that has this much of a learning curve. I mean, I'm uh, as I say, I've literally looked up tutorials, and they've kind of given me a starting point, but, like, things in the tutorials don't even work right, so, like, I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. Um, ooh, there's boxes and stuff in here. So this is basically just me talking over uh, somebody clicking around in Ultima Online. So bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Um, I stepped into a blade trap. Okay, didn't seem to do anything. A headless miner, oh god. The nice thing about these monsters is they don't seem overly aggressive. Like, if you just kind of walk around, they kind of... Like, those guys are casually trying to attack me, but they're not even really chasing me. So, you know, there isn't, there isn't too much danger of getting killed just by running around. So this is what a dungeon looks like. Um, I still want to try and find a better one. Somebody's offering me Ultima Codes. Uh, which are totally useless, uh, to me at least. I mean, I, I have no interest in them. Um, I wonder, so, <coughs> so I was thinking about this, and, um, the fact that this game is super complicated, I don't think is necessarily a negative thing. Um, locked. We need to find a key. Because, like, definitely it has been the case that some of my favorite games have steep learning curves, and if you just hopped into them with absolutely no background, you wouldn't know what the hell you were doing. You'd basically be like me clicking around in here. But I, I have to believe that the games that I enjoy, maybe not necessarily all of them, because I do like some games that are so much difficult. Oh, we got a bunch of monsters chasing us now. Um, but I do have to believe that it's like they're somewhat more playable than this. I don't know what it is. Like, 
It just seems like this is very, very difficult to figure out. And for instance, I was trying to buy a sword in town and I found a blacksmith shop and I couldn't click on anyone to open up any kind of trading menu and I don't know what I was doing wrong. In my first video, I accidentally uh, dropped my uh, entire uh, cache of gold on top of a merchant, expecting maybe he would like realize I wanted to trade. But instead he was just like, thanks for the money. See ya. And he just took all my money. I am, by the way, totally lost in here. I don't even know how to get back out from uh, once I came. So we might spend this whole video wandering around, uh, wandering around this dungeon here. But yeah, like it's it's just th simple things like that. I don't know. Um, it, it's it's surprising because given how advanced the interface for this game looks for the when it came out in 1997, I would have expected that uh, it was a little more sort of user friendly, so that you didn't have to sort of watch a tutorial and learn basically how to do everything from uh, like walk to basically go into combat. Like combat is not intuitive. If you just pick this game up and decide to play, there's nothing you can do clicking on this creature that will initiate combat. You have to press tab to go into com to fight mode, to war mode, and then you can double, double or single click. I still don't know, but eventually you'll start fighting. And I have to run away because he's totally going to kill me if we actually do get in a fight. I should try and cast a spell at some point here. Let's get out of war mode so the creatures know that we mean peace. And then they're just like, oh, well, if you mean peace, look, it's a harpy. It's a beautiful female who's also part bird. A dazzled harpy. She's dazzled by the glorious of J Jairius Targary. I couldn't fit Targaryen in there, but uh, you get the idea. Um, I, I've been naming all my guys Jay something as I've been going through uh, this game, and uh, I figured it was time for a Targaryen name. I think this is the entrance, actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay, to hell with that cave. Um, my my focus has increased to 31.5%. Well, that's good. Look, now it's so peaceful. I'm here with the animals. I wonder if I could tame this horse. I don't want walnut leaves. I want to tame the pony. Let's try this. I think with enough persistence, we could tame this pony. Uh, how do we do this? The mount does not look broken. You would need to have... To tame it. Okay. Tame. Does that do want to tame? Okay, this is actually going to take way too long. Um, actually, I just thought of something. When I was clicking on the horse there, maybe I have to highlight the guy and then click on him. We're going to go back one more time uh, and see if we can actually get a weapon. Because uh, maybe I don't have to wander around this whole time with no weapon. Uh, maybe I could make a slightly more interesting video for you guys. So let's just go real quickly, run all the way back to town. God, it takes so long to get anywhere in this game and see if we can get a weapon. There's this random skeleton, by the way, just hanging out. I feel like back in the day, you'd need, like, some good tunes or you need to be, like, talking to your friends on the phone while you're doing this because, like, this is honestly just taking forever. Just running through the woods. I mean, it's not like games like this, like today, there aren't games like this. Like, Don't Starve is kind of like this. But I feel like Don't Starve is better. Oh, crap. Which way is the town? I think it's this way. I think. Uh-oh, it's possible that we don't know our way back to town, which could be a big problem. I like how there's just cows in the forest. Like, good old wild forest cows. And pigs. Just like a lot of animals just hanging out in peace. A crow. A little wandering healer. Turkey, bear, goat. Great heart, eagle. Another wandering healer. So if we die around here, we're set. Where's the town? I swore I thought it was up here somewhere. Am I crazy? Wait, what is this thing? Look, it's Bigfoot. We found Bigfoot. Look at this dude. He's like 10 foot tall. What is this guy? Get out from behind the tree. I want to I want to see you. He's an ogre. Oh god. He looks menacing at you but does not attack. Well, let's just leave him be because I have a feeling I'm unarmed. I have a spell book. I'm not very good at using spells. Um, I've given up trying to create hotkeys. I made hotkeys for two characters. It takes so freaking long. And then, like, your character just dies, or, like, you move on to a different character. I don't know. Ooh, a giant spider. Okay, I cannot find the town. All right, well, my, my attempt to buy a uh, buy something from the blacksmith has completely failed. 
So uh, let's just carry on and uh, see if we can find some town somewhere. We're just going to wander until we literally find some form of civilization for whom we can barter and trade with. And that's going to be the video. <laughs> like, here's a guy, Xenos the Watchman. What's up, Xenos? Open his paper doll. That is of no use to me. All right, see you, Xenos. Hey, look, a carrot. We're going to leave it. We'll leave it for the, the deer. My guy is just a wandering scrap. What is this? It's like just a painting? A portrait. There's a portrait hanging out in the for in the middle of the forest. I can't pick it up or anything. Okay. What is this? Brent the bar... What? Why is there a bartender out in the middle of nowhere? Hey, we can buy something. Oh, my God. We can buy something. I don't really want to buy ale, but, like, honestly, uh, it's, like, the only thing I can buy. So we're going to buy a bottle of... Let's buy a couple bottles of ale. We're, we're wandering lost in the forest. I feel like we can have a drink. Uh, J and I signed the bill. Interesting. So... Let's get rid of that this dress. I don't know who's that. I don't. I I don't wear dresses, man. I don't know who that is. That belongs to. I guess we are wearing a robe right now. Where did he put my? Where did he put my ale? Book. In here. Well, that's all my uh, ingredients for my magic spells, dude. That ale that you sold me. Um. Where did you put it? Um. Accept. Begging pardon, but. Thy bank account lacks these funds. What? No, it doesn't. Hold on. Uh, 21. Oh, maybe we have to, like, put the gold in. Okay, so we put 21 there. In, in, in there. I, I don't understand what's happening. He doesn't want to sell me the ale? Uh, I... Okay, like, okay, is it just me? Like, I, I, I'm not crazy, right? Okay, for anyone who has not played Ultima Online, looking at that, what was I supposed to do? What was I missing? And now the question is for anyone who's played Ultima Online, what was I missing? What the hell was I supposed to do there? I don't know. Who cares? It's just some wine. I don't know. We're just wandering through. Uh, oh, that troll looks heavily armed. I wish... Oh, hello. What's going on over here? Can we... Uh, look, can we get to that... That, uh, that case? No, nothing. Can we get to anything here? Oh, we can look in the barrel. There's nothing. Okay. Well, uh, I guess somebody had a bad day. <laughs> oh, look, there's like a castle or something over here. All right, let's, we're going to keep exploring. We'll, we'll just see what we can find in the world of Ultima Online. There was a time when this world would have been full of other player characters. Now it is mostly NPCs. Imagine you were an NPC in this world and, like... Slowly over time, all the player characters went away, and then eventually it was just, like, you guys interacting with each other. Like, these servers must be running. There must be, like, almost no players on any of them most of the time, so it's just a bunch of NPCs standing around doing something. It, that's actually a super creepy thought. It's almost like a horror movie, where it's just, like, all these characters, like, standing, staring into darkness, never moving for, like, 24 hours, waiting for, like, a human to arrive so they can interact with them, and otherwise doing absolutely nothing. It's like Children of the Corn kind of stuff. Um, I do know that in... Oh, there's a harpy attacking a wolf. Let's... Here, we can finally see some combat. It's not from me. We can watch the NPCs duke it out. Um, I do know that in this game you can build houses. Like, this might be somebody's house. Um, so you can, like, buy houses and build them. Kind of like, oh, look at this. It's a little house. There's, like, a Venus flytrap and stuff. Interesting. Huh. Can we can we rob this guy's house? I should have, like, upgraded all my thieving skills. That's what I should be doing. Forget about the mage and the healer skills. We're not a fighter, and we're not a magician. We should just straight up accept who we are be a thief. Hey, look, there's, like, a boat over there. <gasps> oh, my God, is that a shield? By the lake. Is that a shield? If this is a shield, guys... <gasps> what? what? What do you mean you, I can't pick that up? Name? Wait. Owner? Two mong bats. The house is open to the public. What? Oh, this, is that just like a, a plaque or something? I thought it was a shield. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing? What the hell is this? An etin. Crazy. 
Okay, can we can we get on a boat? Maybe the guy on the boat will like take us somewhere cool. Um, you cannot pilot a ship unless you are aboard it. Hell, I would love to get aboard this ship. You should you should tell me how, and I will do it, sir. <laughs> well, I guess we're not getting on board a boat. Oh my god, how come not, how come like literally absolutely nothing I want to do in this game is possible? Was this before the time when they were like, you know what? You know one thing that uh, people hate in video games is when they're able to use the user interface intuitively and figure out how to do stuff. Yeah, that's so annoying when like you think clicking on something will do something and then it does it. Let's totally take those features out. That'll make for a great game. <laughs> Oh man, I'm I I swear I'm missing something. I swear it's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. I, I swear I'm missing something. Uh, but yeah, so characters in Ultima Online here, you can like build houses. So these might be people's houses, um, or they might be like houses the developers included. I'm not sure which. Um, I do know. So I said in the first video, I never played Ultima Online, but I had friends who did. And they had tons of fun and funny stories. In the first video, I talked about how Lord British, one of the developers, was assassinated during the, like, alpha or beta of this game, which is actually totally awesome. Um, you know, like, World of Warcraft has had its share of stories like that before. Like, um, there was, like, a, a tainted blood incident where there was a, a magical plague that, like, swept across the World of Warcraft, killing all sorts of players. And it happened unintentionally, but uh, the CDC, the real-life CDC, actually contacted Blizzard asking for player data because um, the magical plague that sort of uh, swept across the game as a bug actually uh, mimicked sort of real-world plague conditions where, like, giant cities got abandoned and people started to, like, all live in isolation and, like, huge populations were wiped out very rapidly and so the CDC actually wanted that info. These are the kinds of stories that only happen in MMOs. Like, you would never get that in, like, Mario Brothers. Like, you know, maybe a glitch happens in Mario Brothers, but it's not like everyone's a part of it. So it just doesn't take on that sort of uh, mythical flavor. But uh, in terms of stories that my friends told me, um, one story I, I remember to this day, a friend of mine, once he got high enough level in Ultima Online, um, I mean, this is true of every MMO, but once you get high enough level, like, what is there to do except become a troll? So he and his guild or his friends or whatever would, like, hang out at the exit of a dungeon. And as soon as somebody, as soon as another player walked out of the dungeon, they would all swarm them and surround that person so that person couldn't walk away. And the guy would be like, hey, guys, what's up? As he, as he was trying to talk to these people, figuring out what was going on, uh, my friend's guild and my friend would literally be stealing absolutely everything out of the guy's backpack. And they would even take his clothes off. So the guy would just be uh, standing there completely naked with nothing left, and then they would all scatter. Now, that would suck if that happened to you. Of course. Of course, nobody wants that to happen to them. But it would actually be hilarious to do. I think what's funny about this story is that in all games, when you have leveled yourself up and played all the gameplay in all multiplayer games, what does everyone do but they turn into trolls? Um, it kind of reminds me of like in Westworld where Ed Harris's character is like, I, you know, I've beaten Westworld and I'm looking for the deeper game. Well, the deeper game is just trolling. It's just you trolling other players, uh, Ed. Um, you just turn into a troll and just mess with the other human player characters. That's basically what everyone does in these MMOs when they hit a point where it's like, hmm, there's no game content le left. They make their own content by screwing with other people. By the way, my guy needs a tan. Look how faint that skin is. Also, what is this? Locked down, turned off. I don't even know what that means. Okay, we have found a town. Let's see if we can figure out how to buy some... You know what? I don't even want to buy a weapon anymore. I just want to buy something. Literally anything would please me if we could somehow make a financial transaction. Or maybe we can just... You know what? I have yet to do a quest. You know what? Let's take a quest. Worthy escort. Um, imperative, I reach my destination. They want to go to the city of Britain. Let's do it. If we can complete this quest, I will say that we've had a successful day, guys. Uh, because my standards are rapidly slipping for what I wanted to. I thought in this game we would, like, you know, level up our character a little bit. We'd maybe explore a dungeon or two, etc., etc. But it turns out it's just, it's far more difficult to do any of that stuff. I'm lucky that I can figure out how to walk around this game, uh, given the troubles I've been having. So, um, yeah, we're just continuing to explore. I think that guy who we're on an escort mission for has uh, 
totally bailed on us because I don't see him anymore. Um, one thing that is very difficult about this game is like you get into these cities and the mini map is of no use telling you where things are. Like uh, it's just like gray and brown buildings. Like if you wanted to find a healer or weapon chop or something, like good luck. Oh god, or a, gu a, a guillotine. Pirates beware. Yeesh. I wonder if people used to be like, yo, meet me by the pilot guillotine after school. I'll trade you some items and we'll go questing together. I wonder if people used to say that kind of stuff. I'm sure they did back when this game was uh, more popular. Can we steal something at least? Let me... You cannot pick that up. Ugh, I want to be a thief. You have failed your escort quest. Well, you know what? That guy failed my quest. My, my one quest was him following me. And he didn't follow... Therefore, I'm not going to help him. I'm not going to help idiots get to Britain, uh, which is the main city in this game. Only cool people can get to Britain. Also, I seem to be a frost ooze. I seem to be lost in this city. Let's try and fight a, a frost ooze. Boom. Maybe we can even... Let's, let's try and cast a spell. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, let's see here. How about magical arrow? on the frost dues. I don't know if that did anything. I wasn't paying attention down here, probably missed. We're trying we're literally fighting slime in the corner of some random city. That is the 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 sum achievement of Jairus Targary. He wanted to be a great and glorious king, but he's not a Targaryen, he's a Targary, which are kind of like the hillbillies of Valyria. He's uh, comes from a very unnoble house, and he runs from slime. He is unable to defeat the slime. What does this say? A hostel. Well, maybe we can like party it up with some travelers or something at least in the hostel. Like there, this hostel isn't even manned. There's no employees. Can I like use a bed at least? Pathfinding. Everything's locked. No matter how you click on things. Like, <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, we can item insurance. You can get insurance loyalty rating. Refuse trades. Huh. The gargoyle queen is my friend. Do I have any other friends? No, just, I guess when the gargoyle queen's your friend, you don't need other friends. I mean, you can't do that. Get the, get the hell out of here, J Arius. Hey, wait, oh my God. Oh my God. A bad lax. Oh my god! Oh, hold on. Put the book down, you fool. Holy crap. We did it! We have a weapon! We did it! We're heroes! Oh god. I can't believe we found a bad lax in a hostel. Alright, now let's fight this thing. The old way. First one to die loses. I think he's going to kill me. Where's my status? Uh, status this oh god this is too big I want the little status menu oh no he's hurting me okay, there's my health my health is rapidly declining okay we got a battle axe literally if we can find armor lying on the ground I think we're gonna be okay what is what happened here human corp I feel like I'm kind of playing Ultima online here as if it's Daisy oh god we do not want to fight this guy bonded Oh god, look at these people. These these are like real players, man. Huh. I feel like we should follow this guy cuz he knows what's up. I'm totally going to do that. I'm I'm following the dude with a giant dragon cuz I feel like if you can get a giant dragon to follow you in this game, you know what the hell's going on. So clearly he's going to lead us to great adventure. We are in his now we're now his companion. We're basically no better than uh, a mindless NPC. We're just going to follow him forever. We'll help him with whatever he wants. We'll die for him. Because really, if anyone's going to live in this world, it should be the guy who can train dragons. All kill. All kill. What does all kill mean, dude? Does it mean you're going to kill me if I keep following you? Because <laughs> I'm going to keep following you. you you're, you're totally in your rights to kill me. Uh, but anyway, I feel like I'm playing this game as if it's like day Z, where like I'm literally scavenging for stuff. Of course, I could, I could buy weapons and stuff in theory, but because I can't figure that whole mechanic of the game out, 
I'm literally going scavenge mode on this one. All right, Dragon Man. I honestly just want to go on adventures. You know, I could talk to him. I could say things to him. How about... Okay, hold on. I I've tr I'm trying to make a friend here, guys. I'm trying to take advantage of the MMO part of this RPG. Let's go to a dungeon. <laughs> see, if, see if he clues into that. <laughs> I'll follow you. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. I I wonder... He's, like, contemplating. Do I want this guy in my team? He has no armor. He... Oh, wait. There. I have a battle axe. Look, I do have a weapon. I'm shirtless. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, we almost made a friend, guys. Okay, I have a new plan. I have a totally new plan. I need to find someone who does want to go to a dungeon and I need to convince them to show me a dungeon. This is this is great guys. Normally I'm showing you guys games, but this time we're going to find someone to show us the game. Me too, because I don't know what's going on. So this has turned in from like a let's play to like a let's find someone to help me play to I'll play with them video. It's a long title. But it's descriptive of what's going on now. So we have a new quest. Our, our original quest was buy something. Then it was find a dungeon. Now it is find someone who knows how to play the game and watch them quest through a dungeon. Um, that is that is what is happening right now. All right, we're 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 making this happen. Dreams can come true, guys. Dreams can come true. Um, anyone uh, know where a dungeon is? We're, gonna, we're we're starting to like farm out desperation cries. Uh, I'm I'm convinced these are all NPCs though. We got to find like another human. Oh look at this, look at this fancy house here. So I wonder what a town spawn is. The guy I I asked the guy to go to a dungeon. He said no. I'm doing a town spawn. What is a town spawn? I wonder. Like I don't even know. Can we go up the? It looked like there was a really sweet garden on the top of this building here. Hey look at this. Look at this. Why does my battle axe keep getting put away, I wonder? I want to keep it out all the time. I want people... It's its literally my the only thing I've accomplished in this game is finding an axe. I don't want people to not know about it. My intelligence changed. Am I getting more or less intelligent, I wonder? It honestly could be going either way. Sabrina the Parrot. Um, you know what? It's actually a good thing that that big dragon guy did not take me to a dungeon. Because if, if he was like, yeah, let's go questing together, he, he'd he probably be expecting me to play for, like, the whole afternoon. But, like, the reality is I'm reaching the point where I'm going to start wrapping up Ultima Online soon. So, it's yeah, it's probably a good idea that uh, he did not come. Um, but, yeah, so Ultima Online, 20 years. That is freaking insane. Um, what other... What other games have, like... Because, like, like, Ultima Online, it, it hasn't just existed for 20 years, but it's been serviced for 20 years. So, forgetting about MMOs for a second, are there any other um, types of games that have been serviced by the creating company for 20 years? I mean, I guess you could make the case that things like Super Mario Brothers has been, because Nintendo has consistently released really old NES games on virtual consoles. They release their NES and SNES minis and stuff like that. So, I mean, that is one case where they've kind of serviced the game for 20 plus years. Actually, more like 30 years in the case of Super Mario Brothers. But it's not quite the same. Um, I guess to like service it in the same way I'm thinking about Ultima Online, it, I, what I do mean is um, keeping servers and stuff open. So it would have to be an MMO of some kind. Um, or like a shooter maybe just with like deathmatch and stuff. I'm sure there are still servers you can find for like Doom and Wolfenstein. I guess Wolfenstein 3D was never multiplayer, but Doom to play um, to play death matches and stuff. Although like that, not, those servers were never really run by uh, by id Software. They're always run by like uh, random people. So I don't think that's id Software continuing to support the game. That's just uh, the game continuing to exist because uh, of fans. And yeah, we mentioned this before, but uh, fans have definitely reverse engineered the server code for Ultima Online. And what a horny musician. 
What? Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, we just stumbled onto something cool. I don't know what's happening, and I can't get on the boat to help. But we're gonna we're gonna watch this. All right. So a unicorn is fighting zombies, and weird stuffs happening. I I don't even know. Oh well, you guys just enjoy this. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, people have reverse engineered the the source code for this game, so uh, they're gonna continue to run fan servers of this probably for a long, long time. And if ever you go to play this game and you can't find a server, you just run your own. Um, it's funny how, like, the technology to run a server used to be, like, so magical and expensive. Now, like, you can do it on your laptop. You can be running the server and playing the game at the same time. It, uh, is not that intensive. So, I have, I have no idea what we're witnessing right here. Is this, like, a bunch of NPCs glitching out? Or are there players in here? Like, there's dudes in the water punching other dudes in the back of the head who aren't doing anything. What, what am I watching? Huh. I wish I could be a part of it. I, I truly wish that there was a way for me to actually play <laughs> and fight. Although, you know what, honestly, like, combat in this game is not, like, especially complicated. It's not like when I'm engaged in combat, I feel like it's, you know, more exciting or interesting than when I'm just watching NPCs fight each other. Like, honestly, I don't know. It's, it's all the same opag. It's just, like, a character standing there... Uh, periodically performing an animation to attack an opposing character and sometimes one character dies sometimes the other dies so like I don't know I feel like whether we're watching me fight or just a random character it really kind of makes no difference um man let's just try and fight an ogre we got a weapon let's make use of it oh god <laughs> he's totally gonna butcher us isn't he oh we, we hit him for 19 though oh we better run <laughs> he's gonna kill us I died a lot in the last video. I don't want to die again. Okay, I went from war mode to peace mode. Just kidding, ogre. I mean, I mean you no harm. And I also seem to be lost in the fields. This is not a good sign. I don't even... I don't... I have not found my original town. How, how's it possible to wander all, the, all around this continent the way I've been doing and never find my original city? Okay, you know what? We're going to try this one more time. I'm going to break down and put us into the newbie city and just see what all the fuss is about. Before we do that, let's die fighting a bear, people. If, if I can initiate combat. Again, one click, two click. Still don't know. Still don't understand. Okay, he seems to be fighting it now. This is how Jairius Targary goes down. He tried killing slime in town, tried befriending a man with a dragon. None of that worked. And now... He's just an inch away from death. And... Oh, but he killed the bear! Okay, well, his story has a happy ending. Um, but we're still going to switch characters and hop over to that newbie village to see what's what. Okay, this last guy is all muscles. And his skills are swordsmanship, healing, lockpicking. And he's, he's a little musical. So he's going to go with it. And we're going to New Haven. Good town for newbie. I think we're going to be stuck on an island, but that's okay. At least they have the courtesy, the courtesy to start us out with the sword. We have no armor, but that's okay. So in this new town, double click me for help. Welcome to New Haven, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can go ahead. Uh, there's a lot more escort missions, I think. Yeah, there's like a lot of instructors and trainers. Um, it honestly feels like in order to learn how to play this game, you got to read a lot of tutorials. And look, there's an armor dude over here. Oh, shoot. How do I get in there to see him? I want to go see the armor. See if he'll give me some armor. But that is definitely what I need. Swordsmanship instructor. Kane the armor. Kane. Bro. If you could hit me up with some armor. I would really appreciate it. If you could do anything. See, I'm clicking on him. Does nothing. Double click on him. Does nothing. Right click on the guy. Does absolutely nothing. It is honestly a mystery to me how you're supposed to properly interact with these NPCs. Some, I'm doing something wrong. I know it. It's stupid. I apologize, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, let's just let's just go slaughter some things here. We finally have a sword. We have uh, good swordsmanship. I am running around in my pajamas, my sweet silky red pajamas, but that's okay. 
Um, it is also kind of annoying how they always start every character with gray hair. You always have to change that. I've just become so lazy because my characters never do anything or last long. I keep having to start new characters that I don't even bother customizing them. So they're just all short, short, gray-haired white men. That's basically every single character I play in this game now. Um, there's some kind of temple over here. It's kind of samurai temple. That is not what I want. I want high adventure. The adventure of killing a rabbit. Here we go. Come on, rabbit. You and me. It, it was always going to come to this rabbit. Always going to come down to it. Come on. Attack the thing. Oh, there we go. All right, now kill the pig. Kill the pig. Show that pig what's what. There's a quest giver there. Oh, that pig, that he, he screams a lot when you kill him. We're going to kill a goat. There we go. We're slowly working our our skill up. We're going to kill a mong bat. We're just going to go and slaughter all the wildlife around here. Here we go. Here is this the combat you crave? Is this what you came here to see? Are you not entertained, internet? Finally killing stuff in this game. It only took like two and a half hours of uh, of fail before I could reach this point. My guys are actually dominating all these like creatures. Who needs heal when you they can't even hurt you? Because I'm a beast. My name is J-Bomb, because I'm the bomb. <laughs> Just like one, one shotting all this stuff. Uh, let's find some more some more terrifying monsters. There's got to be some around here. I honestly wish I could find more dungeons. So in the tutorial video that I watched, if you go into Britain, there's a gravestone you can move, and it leads. It has a ladder leading down to like a castle-y dungeon. And I was trying to do that, but when I went in this version of the game, the tombstone isn't there. So all I can imagine is they took it out with some patch, which is another reason why I hate these like persistent worlds, is that patches come and change the worlds and take things away. It's just like, it'd be like if you're playing Mario Brothers 1, and if you played it this year, things were different than when you played it last year, or the year before, or when you were a kid. Like, it's just, it creates this problem where, like, if you want to go back to an old game, like, it's not the same old game, and things are changed, and it's like things that you used to enjoy about it before might be gone, so I don't know. Um, I have no idea what was going on with that dungeon, if it was just this server, or all servers, or something like that, but, I mean, it kind of just looked like this, only underground. So you guys can sort of use your imagination. There were zombies and stuff. Let's go kill a zombie. This is for Rick. Rick, uh, what's his face from Walking Dead? Man, that show, is that show still on? I fell out of that show in like the third season, I think. Um, I really liked the first couple of seasons, but it just sort of became too repetitive for me, I think. Oh, what what is this? The Dark Knight of Old Haven. Can we challenge this guy to a duel? I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to take this guy down. Like, listen to the music. This evil Dark Knight is just hanging out in, like, the most pleasant of all English villas. So, okay, so we can't challenge the Dark Knight. Oh, now the music is more sinister. I don't know why it suddenly changed. Here we go. Skeletons? Alright, this is it. So, yeah, when you get to the combat, it's kind of like Diablo-ish. Um, or it's, it's like, um, things like Baldur's Gate and stuff like that. Um... But yeah, it's it's fine. Um, in order to get good, in order to upgrade your character, you have to spend a lot of time grinding this stuff out, I believe. There we go. Killed him. Let's kill this mong bat. Come on, mong bat. Wait. Show. Attack. Attack the mong bat. Attack the. Oh my God. Okay, you see what I mean about the interface being wonky? I'm trying to click on the Mong Bat, and it's like bringing up my health meter. Okay, forget about the Mong Bat. Oh, it is attacking me, you dick! Can you kill the Mong Bat, please? Don't tame it! Freaking slaughter it! Don't make it your pet. Make it your rug. Carve its skin off its hide. Wait, its hide is its skin, so I don't know how it works. There we go. We didn't- we tamed the Mong Bat to death! Now what are we fighting? A spectral spellbinder. Hmm. My anatomy skills going up by fighting this thing. I'm like, hmm. You're teaching me a lot about human anatomy as I as I flail my sword in your general direction. Oh, we got a farm over here. Let's slaughter this guy's sheep. Take away his livelihood. He'll come out and be like, no, my sheep, my my antique sheep, they're gone. Oh, it's starvation for me, I guess. What are these scarecrows? Double click 
to practice your fighting skills. Let's do it. I'm gonna fight a dummy for a while here, guys. Yowza. Well, Ultima Online, what can we say about this game? Um, wait, your skill cannot be, oh, I thought my guy was gonna continue going for the wall, but he gave up after one, uh, one swing. Wow. All right, so this is one of the games of the book, 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die. It is also the 20th year this game has been online, which, as I said multiple times, is freaking insane. Um, in terms of my thoughts on this game, first of all, let me, do, let me say that I do actually appreciate the complexity in the game here. If you are willing to sit down and spend some time learning how to play the game, um, I'm sure you can sort these problems out. I mean, obviously you can trade with people. I just honestly couldn't figure it out uh, after spending a couple hours myself. But I'm probably missing something. So not to be overly harsh on the game. Um, obviously this game can be played. You might have to learn some of the quirks of the interface. But if you are interested in this game, you can probably overcome that. And what you will find is an incredibly detailed world with a lot of stuff to explore. A lot of stuff going on. I can see that, even though... Um, I can't actually do very much in this game. Um, now, in terms of, like, is this a game that you should play, I would say it really just depends on your interest. Like, for me, I don't think I have the interest in me anymore to sit down and really learn a game like this. Back in the day when I was younger, um, I seemed to have a more longer attention span for this kind of stuff, or maybe just more interest, or maybe just because games like World of Warcraft and, and other better games uh, wouldn't have been out yet. Um, I, this would have been the only experience I could have in an MMO, and that would have motivated me a lot more to sort of be patient with it and spend the time learning. So, I don't know if this is necessarily a game that many people should really sort of bother playing these days. I think it is rather dated in a lot of ways. Um, but I mean, this is coming from me, the guy who loves dated games normally. So I think just there's the main hurdle of it's going to take you a while to learn. You're going to have to watch tutorial videos. This video alone, I mean, all my video here is, is sort of a, a very surface level tour and uh, examination of the world. Obviously, there's so much more going on in the world, so much to explore. I do also think that one downside to playing this these days is that the heyday of it is kind of over. As with all things MMO... Um, once the user base goes away, the game changes from this very dynamic, cool, shared world experience to becoming basically a solo player affair that is arguably probably less interesting than in its heyday. So it may also be that the time has passed and that, you know, one, once upon a time, this was a great game to play. These days, it's a little barren, a little simplistic, maybe sort of not worth everyone's time. But uh, those are just my thoughts. What do you guys think about Ultima Online here? Um, was it one of your favorite games in high school and uh, or college or whenever you played it? And if so, would you still play it today? Or do you kind of agree with me that even though uh, it was probably a lot better than I'm making it out to be today, back in the day, uh, maybe it's time has kind of passed and uh, it will never sort of return to the glory days? Or is it still fun for you to, to load it up and go and check it out even after all these years? Um, whatever your thoughts, let me know in the comments down below as I'm always interested to hear your guys' thoughts on these old games, especially when it's a game that I personally did not play back in the heyday, so I don't have personal memories regarding it. Um, and whatever whatever you guys think of the game, hopefully you've enjoyed checking it out with me. Hopefully I've entertained you as I've wandered around trying my damnedest to figure some stuff out, or at least just have a little fun with it. If I have, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, because um, we'll be back in a few days with a new video, new game, and you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, I'll probably just be endlessly wandering around the world of Ultima, desperately figuring out how... Oh, God, look at all the bodies. Oh, God, we're in a body graveyard. That's not where I want to be. Desperately trying to figure out how to just sell or buy a single item from a single person. Um, and that's basically just, you know, I that, that would be like... Uh, my purgatory where like in my afterlife I have to live in this world until I eventually figure out how to buy something it could take me decades guys it could take me decades <laughs> but anyway until next time I'll be doing that and you guys take care of yourselves alrighty guys peace see the thing about hiring an escort dude is you actually have to tell me which way to go otherwise what the f Escort Vesper. Where? Where? Where do you want to go? Oh, the city of Vesper. Well, 
I'll tell you what, if I knew where that was, I would take you. Instead, we're just gonna kill you in the alley. <laughs>